Citizens of Edo State are said to have a feel of the stuff that all Progressive Congress vice presidential candidate Professor Yemio Shimbajo is made up of. In attendance at this town hall meeting are the state governor Adam Sushomale, Governor Babatende Fajala of Lagos State, as well as chieftains of the party. On hand to kickstart the meeting is the Edo State Chairman of the All Progressive Congress. So we are gathered here to receive one of our brothers who has been nominated to stand with our presidential candidate for the 2015 general presidential election. The host governor, Adam Zushomale, takes the floor, extolling the virtues of his guests. So I introduce to you a former attorney general of that state who helped to lay foundation for good governance rule of law in Lagos State. A senior advocate of Nigeria who earned it not because his forefathers were senior advocates. He earned it on merit. Not out of fear because he doesn't have a figure that's a dominary. He's as smallish as myself. But he earned it because he merited it. What difference will it make if APC gets voted into power? Professor Shimbajo gets cracking. We are turning out people from the universities. We are turning them out from all tertiary institutions. We are not engaging them. It is important that we find a solution. Now, the APC has several solutions to this. The first thing to note is that in our manifesto, one of the basic questions that we ask before, we, before writing any policy, is how many jobs will this produce? For the first time in the history of any country in Africa, we're introducing a social security scheme. What does social security mean? It means that those who are disabled at the first phase, those who are disabled and the elderly who are poor will be given a stipend. The governor of Lagos State, Lenin, senior advocate of Nigeria. To cap it all up, Governor Fashila takes a swipe at the president's administration, accusing it of incompetence. I spent about an hour this afternoon listening to the president in my state. And for almost the same period, I saw a very angry president. I saw a president who was recriminating about people criticizing his job performance. And he was blaming on those who ruled before him, forgetting that he has been on this job for six years. The session snowballs into question and answer time, after which it was time for the people to go home to perhaps ruminate on what they've heard here today. You can see the cream of... Chris Elms, Channels Television News.